Hello, my dear students. Today we are going to finish our unit 11 with lesson 4. Uh, today we are going to uh, know two new vocabulary, which is pros and cons. Pros and cons. What is the pros and cons, Ms. Shireen? The pros and cons are the advantages and the disadvantages, or something good and something bad. Okay, let's look to the first slide here in this uh, lesson. We have Pros and cons. I made the table for you, and you can see that the picture or the uh, the picture of the boy. He is walking. So we are going to know the advantages and the disadvantages of the means of transportation we have learned in the previous lesson. Okay, on foot. First one is on foot. What is the pros uh, or the advantages of going on foot? It's a cheap. It it doesn't cost any money, of course and it doesn't cause any pollution. And, but the cons are, it could be dangerous if there is a lot of traffic. It might take a lot of time to walk to the other side of the city. Of course, if you are walking from one place to a, a, a very far away place, it takes a lot of time. So those are the pros and cons of go, going or uh, using on foot transportation. By bike, you see the boy with his bike. Also, it's a cheap, cheap, it costs no money. It doesn't make any pollution because it doesn't make any smoke for the environment. But it could be dangerous if there is a, a lot of traffic. Let's move to the other slide. And now we are going to know the pros and cons, the advantages and the disadvantages of going by car within the city. As you see this lovely family in their car, okay, they, it's safer and quicker than walking or cycling. Of course, if you go by car, it's quicker than going by bicycle or on foot and safer too because you are inside the car. You can travel at any time like and can see the beautiful scenes of uh, as you go on. So when you, uh, whenever you go, you will see the scenes, the trees, the uh, flowers, these are the beautiful scenes, uh, maybe the Nile River. But what are the cons? The cons or the disadvantage of going by car? There are a lot of cons here. It causes pollution, unfortunately. There is already a lot of traffic in the city, so it takes a lot of time. It costs more than uh, it costs more to travel by car because you uh, you have to f to fuel your car and pay money for that could take more than 10 hours it could take more than 10 hours to travel by car car will be full with five people and bags it will be full and you will sit in a, in a very tight place so you are going to be tired it's hard to drive over 850 kilometers it's very very tiring uh, uh, thing to uh, to travel by car and to drive that long distance in the next slide we're going to know the pros and cons of the uh, uh, transportation uh, by or the bus going by bus is safer and quicker than walking or cycling of course it's a cheap lots of rooms or space for bags so you, you there are special places for the bags but what about the cons of going by bus May, may not be as quick as going by car. It's not very quick. Might have to wait for bus. You might have to wait for, uh, for the bus. It causes pollution, of course. It's slower than a train. It needs tickets, of course. It might not be comfortable. Let's go to another one. Here, the pros and cons of going by train and going by plane. And of course, I know that you are thinking about it and you have a lot of ideas about that. Going by train, it's cheap and can travel overnight and sleep in the train. This is a very nice one. Um, but what about the cons? The cons or the disadvantages of going by train or traveling by train, it could take more than 13 hours. Very tiring, of course, but it's, uh, if it is overnight, you can sleep all the time. Might not be very comfortable. Of course, it's very tight or small bed, and you are not going to, to move. 
needs tickets, of course, like the bus, and could be expensive. So it costs a lot, a lot of time, a lot of time, and a lot of money too. What about going by plane? Okay, the process of going by plane it's very quick and very easy. Okay, to move from one country to another. But what about the cons? Yes, it has cons too. Causes the most pollution. Causes the most pollution, and it needs tickets. Of course, it needs tickets and passports and whatever. Okay. Okay, so I want you to study this information and to reread the texts we have and to, uh, to use this information and this language in your daily life. Thank you. Bye-bye.